People living along Holly Tree Road in Wilmington will see some new development soon. City Council approved the project Tuesday night against the wishes of many people who showed up to oppose it. WECT's Emma Dollenmayer spoke with the developer of the project and to some neighbors. Emma, needless to say, they're not seeing eye to eye here. Yeah, John, it's a scenario that has been played out time and time again here. Few people wanting a large development moving in next to them. But it's the reality when you live in one of the most popular places on the East Coast. Moonlight Landing, a 17-unit residential community, is coming to Moonlight Lane. But neighbors of some surrounding communities are anything but excited about it. We felt like that the project as it was proposed was not really in fitting in line with the Holly Tree Road community, the existing neighborhoods that were already there, so that is why we became concerned about it. Developer Ross Tomaselli, though, says he has been trying to address those concerns while still trying to combat what he calls a larger problem. I think nationwide we have a housing shortage and um, we only have so much land left um, within city limits. Wilmington's an extreme example of that. Obviously, New Hanover County is a very small county. Neighbors say they understand development is necessary, but that overdeveloping is not the answer. We still have a grave concern around the number of units that are going to be on this property and how close, as a result, those units are going to be to Holly Tree Road. If you take a look to my right here, you can see exactly where those 17 units are set to go. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you just where this is in relation to the surrounding communities. As you can see, those line the left and right side of the road here on Holly Tree Road. That n none of the other developments will look like this, and that's, that's our concern, and that's why we went to uh, the city council meeting. Ross Tomaselli, though, says unique and diverse housing is needed and that change is inevitable. It's a more creative, more unique housing type that helps people get into good areas of town um, that, that obviously people want to live. Um, and that's what we're looking to deliver there in a way um, that is cohesive with the neighborhood around it. So. Neighbors admit the original plans were reduced, but were ultimately upset with City Council's approval of the development, a development that will soon be on the way to Moonlight Lane. Tomaselli says they do not know when they will break ground on this project, but when we do know, we will let you know as we will follow this story closely. Emma Dollamere, WECT News.